Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My eyebrows and my face are already prepped, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this eye look. Here, I'm applying a semi-thick eyeshadow base to my lid and patting it out with my finger. This will help make sure I have a nice blank canvas to start with. Taking a small blending brush and a navy blue eyeshadow, I placed the color into my crease, packing it on so I have the most color payoff. Above the navy blue, I am placing a sky blue shade followed with a lime green and then yellow, blending where the colors meet each other. As I do my eyeshadow, I am going back and forth with the shades I've been using just to make sure I have the desired blend that I want. On the outer half of my lid, using the shades violet and pink, I am going to repeat the process. And adding a bit more yellow so I have a more cohesive transition. Don't be discouraged if the look isn't blending out perfectly. That's totally fine because we're going to take a Q-tip with some makeup remover and clean our lid for our cut crease. Make sure to curve it out towards the end. This will be important for later. Before I go in with my base, I'm using a small brush and the navy blue shade to further define my crease. Then I fill the empty space with my eyeshadow base to prep my eyes for the next step. Taking a white face paint and a precision eyeliner brush, I'm going to carefully line around the cut crease and then wing it out at the top. Remove excess shadow with a Q-tip and makeup remover. So as I watch myself do this look, I realize that there are a lot of steps I could have just taken out completely. Now I know for next time. This is a learning experience for both of us. Once that's all cleaned up, go ahead and finish lining the wing and fill it in. I'm now going to fill in my lid with a color gradient of hot pink, bright pink, orange, and yellow. Then taking a maroon shade and a small brush, I'm going to go around the edge to give it more definition. Clean up the curve with white face paint. I'm now going to prep for eyeshadow along the lower lash line with my eyeshadow base from earlier. Then taking the shades navy blue and sky blue with a pencil brush, I'm going to pack those colors along the lower outer half of my lash line. I then further out the blend with neon green and yellow. With a black eyeliner, I'm going to tight line my lower lash line and with a liquid eyeliner, do a thin line across my lid. Then with the liquid liner, I'm going to carefully outline the wing. Make sure to take your time with this. You may find it easier to work in little sections as opposed to doing one long stroke of the brush. And then carefully line the inside curve as well. Using a precision brush, I'm going to start adding a plethora of colorful dots to the inside of the wing. I am starting with a neon pink water activated eyeliner, then moving on to neon orange, neon yellow, neon green, neon blue, and neon purple. I'm going to do my base off screen. Then in the inner corners of my eyes, I'm using a bright pink pop of color. I also then add a little blue shimmer along the lower lash line. And in the inner corners of my eyes and the lid, I'm adding an iridescent green shimmer. And I'm just going to carve out the edges with some setting powder. I do the same thing along the sides of my nose to make sure my nose is snatched. And then once all that is set, I brush away the excess powder. And adding a little bit of life and color to my face with a little bit of blush. When I say a little, it's really a lot because I love blush. I'm going to finish off the eyes with a wispy, spiky lash and do my best to coat these pathetic lower lash hairs. I am lining my lips with a nice cool toned red lip liner, filling in the center of my lips with a hot orange lip crayon. Filling in the edges and top lip with a cool toned red liquid lipstick, followed by a hot orange liquid lipstick pat into the center, and topped off with a clear lip oil that I got from the beauty supply. With the lip oil as the final touch, this look is complete. Initially in the beginning, I was hoping this look would have a little more pink tones to it, but it all kind of seemed to blend in and create orange, but I'm totally okay with that. I feel like a liberated lesbian mango, and mangoes are one of my favorite fruits, so this is great. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed following along with me in this video. If this struck your fancy, make sure to definitely give this a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. 
That way you never miss a beat down. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already. My tag is at omally. Until next time, Mally Cats, and happy pride.